So hello everyone. Um, I'm his father, uh, Ben, and uh, actually this is the first uh, public speech to strangers. <laughs> and uh, one of his motivation actually is I told him they have very good breakfast. <laughs> so okay, so um, uh, my story and my family story is uh, one of the typical immigrant uh, family in New York City. Uh, 27 years ago, I came to the United States on a scholarship, um, but I had to uh, borrow money from my parents for the airplane ticket, and it was my first time ever to took an airplane and all the way to America. Then later on, we got to graduate. I got a job as engineering, and I uh, married with my wife. I have two kids, Vincent and uh, my daughter Frances. She's uh, high school right now. And uh, you know, since he was born, Vincent was born, we know something totally wrong because he's so fussy. Nobody understands him, only ourselves. We have nowhere to put a uh, daycare or most or any program because nobody understands him. Then we decided we have to take care of ourselves. So that time we decided, okay, I took a job as a night shift engineer. And my wife take a daytime job, so in daytime she take care of my daughter. And, and uh, when I came back from work, I can take care of Vincent. And uh, many times, like I working like uh, eight hours a night, I have to travel two or three hours in the New York City traffic back home. Then I'm ready to sleep. And then school call, hey, we have a meeting, and go there. So. For many, many years, Vincent, in his mind, that I was the one who don't need to sleep. <laughs> Until a few years ago, he realized, hey, when are you going to sleep? <laughs> you know, so you know, it's a problem. And uh, as, as I say that for the um, immigrant family, first one, survive is a priority. So we have to have a full-time job to become uh, immigrant status and later on became so timing for us is like a two, two full-time job, parents will take it. The, um, the other one is like the many of the uh, family maybe have the language uh, barrier. For us, probably it's less, but we have another big barrier is the social barrier. Because we came a country where is government almost country everything. The school can reject you if you are special need behavior different. You cannot even get an application, right? You can reject you by no way there. But here in the country, we said, if you don't with, agree with the school, you can disagree first, right? And then you can fight, OK? We can tell you lots of resource, lots of people can help you to find your school. OK, so this is a big concept for us. Even over there, you know, they can, somebody don't agree somebody, they can start to impeach. <laughs> for us, for us, it takes a while people really understand that we can express our disagreement with school because we see different view as parents, with the teachers, against doctor, against the gun. You can have a fighting. So this is a big one for us in the community. Pair as a parent supporting, advocacy is a big one. And a lot of thing is that parents even don't know that they have lots of benefits from government available for them. Is of course, you know, the language is one of the reasons. The answer is that the, a lot of aging is not have enough resource to reach out the community like us, we have, we don't have a bilingual version of lots of documentation. They did not contact us, say, you know, this is a community in China's world. Why you guys not coming to attend our meeting, okay? So this is what we can help them. We're working with lots of parents group, with lots of agency, include CWC, include lots of, include audience speaker there. Then we try to get a bilingual session for the parents said, hey, there are lots of opportunities there, they have lots of benefits there, they have a lot of supporting there, right? This is a new country, 
you have the right to fight for your children, okay? No matter something you think it's ridiculously impossible, but it is. This is why we love this country. So, um, 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 one thing is that, okay, of course we have a, uh, we have lots of story, which is like a, a, a journal, is like a mountain, over a mountain, over a mountain. But after he graduated from the high school, we discussed with him what, what are you going to do this? Because from our lots of research, lots of uh, information, that adult, when they acting the adulthood, this is a big, big challenge. It's more challenge when they were in the school. The people called autism clip that okay, all the service jump out there. So for the new immigrant family, the cliff is like a very high, like a mountain high, okay, because you don't know where to go. So for example, we have a Vincent, we're discussing what's his, um, uh, you know, he have a lot of sensory issues, he have attention issues, he's um, autism and ADHD, of course, lots of uh, job is not over him, but we find out one particular one is he can probably can survive and like it is the janitor clean up, just do the same routine the one the one there. So we find out um, a, a program to train them at, as a, as a, a janitory services. He got an internship. He got the first job at five months there. The problem is that the job was in Brooklyn and we live in Queens. So how to teach him how to travel by myself, it took me probably like a five or six months to help them to, you know, hand by hand or you know, follow him, whatever routine there. Because it's the same routine from my home that have to take about um, the one bus and the two subway, totally one turn is almost two hours. But he can learn because this is from fixed point to fixed point. So he can learn. Eventually, he can travel by himself. He do the work, and he's very valuable uh, 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 job opportunity. He always plan uh, much earlier before they want. You never get late, so he, he probably will be a plan leaving half the time on the trip there. He would rather waiting there. You don't want to be late there. Okay, so we we, we know that we know they have a they have a status of. So, um, the unemployment for the adult is over 80% or some other said 90%. You know, in England it said 75%, it doesn't matter. Okay. But the thing is here is when I find out is if you find the right place, you have the right position, right? You have the right environment, you will pick some people understand you. You can do very well. We gotta we gotta dance, right? Yeah. Definitely, right? Oh, absolutely. If you have the right place, 